What is going on everyone? My name is Colin. Welcome to the Pokey Office. In today's video, we're looking at a set that I haven't looked at in quite a while, Silver Tempest. Um, a really cool set with a lot of cool cards, but the card prices have just been dropping like flies over the last six months. So you're going to see that in the data I've come up with today. Um, first things first, I have a giveaway going on this week. So if you want to be entered to win four packs of Paldia Evolved, you gotta make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, bell notifications on, leave a comment letting me know anything you think about Silver Tempest or about the new leaks that are out today uh, about Obsidian Flame or anything you want to, it's totally fine. Uh, and then hit the like button for me because it really pushes my video out to more people. The channel is growing, thanks to you all. I thank you so much, it really means the world to me. It's amazing, uh, I'm loving it, so let's get into it. Um, I really wanted to take a minute, so if you don't want any spoilers of Obsidian Flame, just fast forward. There will be a timestamp down below in the description to get into the data. But I want to take a look at a couple of the cards that leaked today. So first up, uh, we have this Pidgey line. Uh, I don't know what to think about it. Part of me absolutely loves it. Some of, it's some of the coolest artwork I've ever seen. And part of me doesn't like it very much because I mean, they're just weird. Like It's just such different artwork, kind of gimmicky. But, I don't know, tell me what you think. The other card, uh, before we look at the Charizard, which is uh, crazy, uh, is this Gita card that I actually really, really like. Something about this artwork I think is really, really cool. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I just really like the artwork, so let me know what you think about that. And then, uh, of course, the Charizard that leaked. I don't know if it's a leak. I think it was just put out there by Pokemon Company. Um, I have heard such mixed reviews on this card. Some people absolutely love it. They think it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Other people are like, wow, this is a new low for Pokemon. So I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on it. I am really on the fence. Like part of me loves it, part of me hates it. Uh, it's really interesting that it's a dark type Charizard. So it has a weakness to grass, which might change the actual gameplay quite a bit. Um, I don't know. I feel like once I get that card in my hand, if I'm lucky enough to pull it, that I might absolutely love it. I'm easily excited about Pokemon. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the data of Silver Tempest and see what has been going on over the last six months. Okay, so starting off with the booster box, uh, this one has actually increased over the last six months, started at $129.09 in January, up to $133.94, but it did hit a high of $146.38. So it like got just above MSRP. Now there's a little reprint happening to my knowledge. So it's back down. I would expect this to drop a little bit more in the coming weeks here. Um, the Elite Trainer Box, uh, not a ton of movement. Like on this graph, there's $4 worth of movement on the vertical axis. So started at $36.23. Now it's up to $39.70. So a 9.6% increase, but Again, like we're talking about $3.50. It hasn't been anything too crazy. The booster pack has gone down, started at $3.65, hit a high of almost $4, and then has been dropping basically since the end of January. Now it's down to $3.10 for a booster pack. And the sleeve booster packs, a little bit of a different story, started at $3.74, hit a low there for a short period of time in January, February, and then hit a high of $4.02 before coming back down just below $4. It's at $3.94. Now we're into the cards. Uh, we got Skuntang V. I can't believe it. Like I was only going to include cards that are $10 and more, but I had to include this one because legitimately this card is so so cool uh currently at nine dollars and 99 cents um it's 19 dollars and 68 cents in january so it's dropped 50 percent basically uh i can't believe you can get an alt art scum tank for under ten dollars it's absolutely insane next we're into the trainer gallery superior v uh, another one that's down 23.7 percent started at 13 dollars 49 cents and now it's at $10.29, but another really cool card. Um, the Trainer Gallery in Lost, or not Lost Art, in Silver Tempest is really, really good in my opinion. Duralanon VMAX is next, started at $16.28, now down 35.2% to $10.55. Does anyone like Duralanon? Uh, I certainly don't. So if you do like Duralanon, let me know in the comments. There's got to be someone who likes the Skyscraper Pokemon. Next, we're back to the regular set of Silver Tempest. Lugia V Full Art 
started at $18.01 down to $11.59. That's a 35.6% drop. This isn't my favorite card for some reason. I I think the background just kind of clashes with the Lulugia. I don't know. My own take. Next, back to the trainer gallery. The judge started at $11.37 up to $12.70. It did hit a high of $24.46. So it was spiking in March and April there. Uh, must be a playable card in the TCG. That's the only thing that I could uh, reckon it would be why that went up so high, but it's come back down. Next, we have the Serena Rainbow card. Serena is one of the top cards in Silver Tempest, the like the regular full art version of it. Uh, the Rainbow card, uh, not quite as popular, started at $16.99, now down 21.1% to $13.41. Next, the Forest Sealstone. Legitimately, I gave these cards like away in the little bundles I put on Facebook Marketplace for cheap because um, I had no idea it was worth fourteen dollars and two cents. Are you kidding me? Up one hundred and sixty-six percent over the last six months. And just a side note: the green line on the graph here is for the Reverse Hollow. <clears throat> so Reverse Hollow still not worth much. It's worth like four bucks. Hey, before we carry on, I wanted to let you know that I just opened up the Pokey Office Discord community. Uh, really exciting. It's already got some people talking and continuing the conversation on Discord. So if you want to join that, uh, feel free. There's a link down below in the description. Uh, introduce yourself and carry on this conversation with me on Discord. All right. Uh, next, we have Candace at a cool waifu card that I don't think I included in my waifu video a few uh, days ago. Or I guess that's a week ago already that I did that. But um, this one I think could be worth some money in the future. The artwork, really, really cool. And like, I mean, I just think it's a cool card. Uh, started at $12.18, currently up 19.5% over the last six months to $14.55. Next, we have the Rainbow Alolan Vulpix V-Star card. It's been trending downward all for the last six months. Uh, started at $20.75, down to $14.65. Then we have Friends and Galar, which is a really cool card, in my opinion. I uh, really like the artwork in it. Uh, this one down 11.1%, started at $17.16, uh, now sitting at $15.26, though it did have that low in April of $12.30, so it has rebounded a little bit since then. Next, we have the gold Lugia V-Star. I do like this one. The gold really matches with the Lugia nicely. Uh, started at $25.92, currently sitting at $19.58, a 24.5% drop. And then the one and only Regidrago V Alt Art. I love this card, especially since I pulled it, because sometimes when you're looking at the pictures, you just don't see the, the full grasp of it. Uh, and then I pull the card and see the Lugia in the background in the sky on the top left. And I'm like, what? This card is so ridiculously cool. And now it's going for only $20.40. It has dropped 44.8% over the last six months from $36.94. What a cool card for $20.40. Like, unbelievable. All right. Next, my favorite card of the set that I still have not pulled. So hopefully today, as we're opening some Silver Tempest after this uh, data... The Unknown V Alt Art. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just think it's so, so cool. Uh, but again, similar to the Regidrago, just been trending down all six months of the graph. Uh, started at $42.60. Now it's down to $24.47. Then we have the rainbow version of the Lugia V Star. Not as cool as the gold one, in my opinion, but uh, it's more valuable. Started at $37.89, now down to $28.57, which is a 24.6% drop. Moving back to the trainer gallery, we've got the Rayquaza VMAX, which this would be an amazing card to uh, put in my collection next to the Evolving Skies Rayquaza VMAX. A really, really cool card, but still trending down. 24.0% drop over the last six months. Started at $43.01. Now it's at $32.67. Two cards left to talk about the Serena full art. Uh, not a lot of movement on this one. It's kind of stayed static there in between that like $35, $40 range. Uh, started at $39.54, currently at $38.83. It did have that one spike early on in the year at $43.26. But overall down 1.8%, which leads us to the last card that we're talking about, the Lugia V Alt Art. I would like to get my hands on this one. 
one of the few alt arts that I do not have in my collection to send in for grading. Uh, I would love it. I mean, I'm missing a lot of them, but this is one of the main ones. Started at $186.58, hit a high, this is in January, of $200.08. So this card was a $200 card for a while there before, uh, before Christmas as the set released, and now it is down 18% to $152.99. Will this card drop any more? It's hard to know. Uh, it's a gorgeous card. And from people I've talked to, quite hard to pull. I don't know what your experience has been. Have you pulled this card before? Let me know, and let's see if I can pull it right now as I flip the screen around and open up some Silver Tempest. All right, so let me know what you think about uh, all the Silver Tempest data. Let me know what you think about those cards we talked about, uh, the leaks from Obsidian Flame as well. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest with you. Like, I'm easily excited about Pokemon. I'm still loving the hobby ever since I got back into it about a year ago. And, uh, I mean, hard to complain about. Now let's open up some Silver Tempest. I mean, I just, there's some cards in here. I have had bad luck with Silver Tempest. I haven't pulled much of anything. Um, like the Reggie Drago is probably the top card I've ever pulled out of Silver Tempest, which was a good card, especially when the set released. And now since, like there hasn't been a lot to get excited about. I'm missing the Unknown, I'm missing the Lugia, of course, missing the Serena, and what else? The Rayquaza VMAX. Like, yeah, I just have not gotten a ton of hits out of Silver Tempest. This, uh, 10 packs is out of a brand new booster box. So we'll see what that's like. Um, I mean, based on my last video on Wednesday, Radiant Alakazam, okay. There's a hit, way off center, but that's all right. Um, man, I opened eight packs of uh, Paldia Vault on my last video, and it was a total banger, I couldn't miss. Um, which is crazy because that was out of a booster box as well, but I mean, I guess when you just shuffle a booster box Sometimes you hit and sometimes you don't so let's see what happens with these packs of Silver Tempest It's a set that I actually like quite a bit like Definitely not my favorite set. Uh, I think it's a middle tier set of Sword and Shield personally um, But definitely higher up there than than some for sure because the trainer gallery just makes it so much better and silver tempest has a really good trainer gallery like i like altaria there's a trainer gallery as we speak about it not too shabby i like that superior i like the rayquaza um the judge is a valuable card not that it's like the most spectacular friends and galar looks really awesome um there's the blaziken that I didn't even include in the data today. The Blaziken V and the Blaziken V Max. So there definitely are some cool cards in Silver Tempest Trainer Gallery. The Lugia is a huge chase card for lots of people. Um, so I think it's a good set. I think it could age well. Zygarde, Medigen. All right. It's not aging well right now because uh, the pulls have not been spectacular so far. Still got some packs to open though. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, baby. Seriously, what do you guys think about the uh, Obsidian Flame stuff? I really want to hear your thoughts, especially if you bring it over to Discord. I would be really interested to hear everyone's thoughts there. Um, like I said in the intro, I'm really, really torn on whether I actually like it or not. It's, it's so different. I think I'm gonna get on board with the Pidgey line, and I think I'm actually gonna really love it. Reggie Drago, there's our first kind of real hit. Uh, we got a Radiant and a Trainer Gallery. But we got our first B hit. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get really on board with the Pidgey line. Uh, very different artwork. I really like that Gita, like I said in the intro. Uh, the Charizard. I really think that once I see it in person, it's gonna change things for me because on the pictures, like it just doesn't seem to do it justice to me. 
doesn't seem to do it justice to me. All right, two packs left. Um, but I've felt the same, like Scarlet and Violet so far, the pictures just don't do it justice. There's some really, really cool cards that actually look awesome. But uh, in person, not in uh, the pictures. They're so dark in pictures sometimes, and they really end up popping when you see the texture and when you see everything on there. So I think we got something in the last pack here. Hopefully, because it hasn't been a great opening, but this is the last pack. I uh, appreciate you all for watching, for sure. Lally, and let's see. Well, we got something, for sure. Three, two, one. Mawile V-Star. Man, this is uh, one that I have pulled quite a few times. Nothing spectacular, but still a V-Star hit. Let's quickly take a look at the four cards we pulled. I mean, four hits out of ten packs is not actually that bad, even though it was nothing spectacular. We got the Mawile V-Star, the Regidrago V, an Altaria Trainer Gallery, and an Off-Center Radiant Alakazam. That's going to do it for me at the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to be entered to win four packs of Paldia Evolved, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with bell notifications on. Leave a comment and hit that like button for me. Um, yeah, I appreciate you all so much. And until my next video, peace.